So I think that the two things that I'm definitely going to take into my own classroom is the use of podcasts and the use of Adobe Spark Page. Um, Adobe Spark Page is just so much more clean and convenient to use and simpler than PowerPoint. Um, it looks so much nicer and it's so much easier to scroll through it. Uh, and as a history focus, I know that I don't want to just be using PowerPoint the entire time of my lesson. I want to be creative. I want to get my students more involved. And I think part of that is making the information that I am conveying to them come in a more convenient way. Um, I think with the PowerPoint, everything just kind of gets lost and stuck and you get simple minded. But while you can scroll through um, the Spark page, it looks clean easy to look at and you can put videos in it and um, simple links that actually go in order uh, and create a really well thought out classroom and lesson plan and I think um, I could definitely use that. The one I used for it was I did a little thing on Kansas history and I want to be a seventh grade teacher and Kansas history goes along with that so if I can use what I just made in this class um, and just pull it into my classroom, that would be amazing. Um, the other tool that I was a really big fan of um, wasn't just a tool, you know, it was podcasts, uh, listening to the podcasts. Um, I thought a lot of the other things were great, like the everything can create, um, but some of them were just really overwhelming um, to me. I thought I'm a very big pencil and paper type of person. Um, and while I now understand and recognize the need for technology, um, I really want to do things in person and creatively. And I think creating videos and having my students create videos would be really cool. Um, but I also found that I completely, completely, completely love uh, listening to podcasts now. I've never thought about it um, before this class um, that I just turn on Netflix and see what pops up but knowing that I can use the dead space in my day to educate myself and to become a better teacher for my students and to listen to other colleagues and peers and figure out what they're doing in their classrooms and being able to improve myself um, it was a really, really cool goal, and I think that's one thing that they do. with me after this class. They do. I continue to listen to them and continue to get better, and those podcasts will help me with other tools, um, trying to figure out um, keynote and just other things. Um, I think the podcast will help me get a more comprehensive knowledge on any new tools that make them up and figure out who I want to be as a oh teacher God. and how much technology Girl, I want to put into that it. Was an awesome um, and I really First do want to put technology into my classroom now. So, so these things have really helped me with that. That's fun just to say.